carry you they go jesus carry you they go your husband's house hey foodies so this recipe is literally carrying you to your husband's house so if you want to learn how i made this scrumptious delicious fried fish keep on watching so without any further ado let's jump right into this cooking action shall we see ya hey foodies good morning and welcome back to the channel my name is nelly and i'm your anchor on this channel so in today's video we're going to be making a very delicious fried fish okay this is way 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 better than takeout so you want to try this recipe what are you celebrating because this was made for something special i'm going to be sharing in the nearest future so yeah till this recipe we started by using our croaker we're working with croaker today and croaker happens to be one of my absolute favorite fishes like i love me croaker give me croaker anytime any day and i am game okay so you want to start by cleaning your fish ensuring you scrape all the scales you want to take out all the guts and then you want to score your fish okay why you're scoring your fish is because fish okay you want every part of this fish every every bite to be very flavorful so you open up the fish and then you add the the spices or the marinade into it and then you massage rub it rub it in okay just see this process as like when you're giving your husband a body massage or your husband is giving you a body massage oh my goodness i know <laughs> Yeah, so you want to marinate it and then cover it, use a clean film to wrap it up and then you can marinate for as long as, you can marinate for as long as overnight, 10 minutes, 30 minutes and, and so on and so forth. So while our fish is marinating, we're going to come over to our stove top and then we're going to add up place our pot on the cooker and vegetable oil so that we can make our sauce because you need something to dip your fish in okay so in goes my onion and guys you need to stir fry your onion you need to saute your onion and when i keep saying this some people just add their onion and they add the next thing no you want your onion to be to release that beautiful aromatic flavor and in what in goes in my garlic and ginger paste this is homemade so if you want to see how i made that recipe i'm going to be sharing that recipe soonest okay so yeah i added in my spices just curry thyme and um salt and seasoning powder and that is it because we want to keep this very very simple this is as simple as you can get and then in goes in my bell peppers and my scotch bonnet peppers i love me this color like i love me colorful food you guys already know that right so you want to stir it and then we covered it open it up again and then in we're in sorry what am i saying in went in in goes in and so guys we covered it and our sauce was ready as simple as a b and c okay so we're going to just turn off the cooker and allow this to cool down okay see you on the other side so guys while our sauce was ready it is time to fry our fish so i placed a clean pot on my stove top and then i added vegetable oil okay so you can choose to grill this or bake it or boil it okay i love me fried fish guys i love it love it love it so i added in curry leaves and some onion and an onion bulb okay this is just to flavor the oil it's going to also add flavor to your fish okay so it's time to unwrap our fish and then i added in yeah i added in some spring of um springs of um curry leaves into my fish okay that is also going to take the taste of this fish to a whole new level guys i do not even know why i decided to use this pot i don't know the type of love i have for this wok, and i have a bigger wok that this fish can just relax but it is happening use a bigger wok use a bigger frying pan if you do have okay we're going to fry this fish we're going to fry it like three minutes on each side you want this fish to be fried you want it to be cooked actually okay so yeah be careful while flipping it because it can just be the end of the show okay so i fried it and our fish was looking good as you guys can see and it is time to take it out okay yeah buckle up your seat belts because it's about to begin the show is about to start so to absorb all the excess oil okay do that carefully you don't want this fish to break okay so yeah turned off the cooker and that was it 
this fish was so good i made the lettuce wrap bed okay using my fish tray if you've seen my pantry tour you will see this fish tray okay so i added in just you know drizzle the the sauce on this fish okay this is so good guys you want to try out this recipe if you're going to be trying it out or if you eventually try it out please do let me know or you can take a picture and tag me send it to me or let me know how it turned out for you i really like to see it okay so until i come your way next time with something delicious until then please do remember that better is not good enough the best is always yet to come please do not forget to subscribe to my channel like this video share it for other people to see and i will see you in my very next one until then bye